I was walking along the railroad tracks in northern Wisconsin a couple days ago, and I found this rock, and I believe it's a sample of banded iron formation. Now, the banded iron formations were formed a very long time ago, and they're sort of chemical fossils showing the great oxidation event uh, that is the oxygen oxygenation of our Earth. Now, in the banded iron formations, what we have are these dark layers of magnetite, um, which is Fe304, and hematite, which has a formula Fe203. And they're interlayered with lighter colored bands of chert, which is silicon dioxide, or SiO2. Okay? And in the Great Lakes region, much of these were deposited during the Paleoproterozoic era, ranging from about 2.5 to 1.8 billion years ago. And again, it's thought that these are, are markers of the great oxidation event, where cyanobacteria were making oxygen and putting it into the atmosphere, and at that time there wasn't a whole lot of uh, life that had any use for oxygen, so it was building up first in the atmosphere or in the shallow oceans and eventually working their way down into the deeper oceans. And in the oceans there was iron 2 oxidizing to iron 3 when it came into contact with this oxygen and the iron 3 would precipitate out in the oceans as these iron oxides. Now this wasn't an even uh, smooth event. There were sort of fits and fits and starts to this. Um, sometimes there would be precipitation happening more at times more than others, and that's what produced this stri striped pattern here for these banded iron formations. Now, most banded iron formation ended about 1.8 billion years ago, although there were there are a few little exceptions. But again, this is of interest to me because it's it's believed by many that this is sort of a uh, sort of a fossil, you know, if you will, or a sort of record of the Earth becoming oxygenated. And this particular sample is also of interest to me because it has enough iron in it, iron oxides, that it can be attracted to a magnet. Here I have a little uh, light source here. It has a magnet on the back. And if I flip this over, you can see the magnet can actually pick up this sample of banded iron formation.